Are you tired of getting simple, boring results for AI design tools? In this video, I will show you a new feature UX Spider just added. It's called Max Mode, and it's helped the AI think more before creating your design. You will see how Max Mode makes the layout better, adds more useful parts, and creates more complete design. If you are a designer using AI tools, this will help you understand what each mode does and which one gives you the best results. Let's dive in. Today, I want to show you a new feature that UX Pilot just added. It's called Max Mode, and it's designed to give you better results by thinking more deeply before generating your screens. I will show you how it works by generating the same screen multiple times, each with different settings. This way, you can see the differences clearly and decide what works best for you. Here is the plan. First, I will generate the screen without deep design or without Max Mode. Then, I return on only the deep design, and finally, I return on both deep design and max mode. Once get result, we will compare them. Let's start with the desktop version. I am here in UX Pilot. I select high fidelity design and the standard model and also the desktop design. Here a prompt, let's open it. And the application I will create is a task application to manage your daily tasks and more. It is a short prompt the app connects to your calendar and to-do list to help you keep track of meetings, tasks and deadlines as they happen. And I ask you, Spider, to create a dashboard screen that display upcoming meetings, tasks, and deadlines in a user-friendly layout. I ask that the sidebar will be closed. Let's update context. I go down. First of all, let's create without deep design and max. I click on generate. Now let's turn on deep design. Click on generate. And now I click on max design and click on generate. Now it's created three screens. Once it's finished, let's compare them. It's finished the rope. You can see here the result. On the left side, we have the design created without deep design and without the max design. On the center, we have the design created with the deep design. And on the right, the design created with deep design and max design. Let's take a look on them one by one. First of all, the design created without deep design and without max design. On the top, I have summary of the information, upcoming meetings, priority task, upcoming deadlines, and below the recent activity. Let's take a look on the design created with deep design. We have it here with upcoming meetings, pending tasks, upcoming deadlines, today's schedule and quick actions. And basically what I see is that the design created with deep design has a little bit better and more elaborated interface. Let's make zoom out. And you can see here the differences between two. For example, I have here the tags and also the colors here. It's a little bit better and more notable than the design we created without the deep design. But now if we compare it to the design we created with the max design, you can see it here. This one, you can see that this page, it's much more longer. Let's make zoom out and you can see how the max design, it's much more longer. Let's make zoom in. We have the summary on the top, today's schedule, task management. Here it's look like a Kanban layout. We have the upcoming deadlines. Here I believe it's missed two parts, but okay, it sometimes happens with AI tools. Below we have the team collaboration, projects status overview. Take a look here on this component, how much is elaborated and it looks like a real designer did it. Below we have some quick actions, recent activity, integration and settings. So you can see how much rich is the page we created with the max design. And I'm not talking about the user interface only or on the visual design. I talk about the fact that it's added much more features. So maybe you not like all of the features added, but in any case, you can import this page to Figma after that and eliminate the part that you not like. But you can see that with one click, it's created for us an amazing interface with a lot of information and features. Maybe you not want to use all of them, but at the end you will have with one click so much options to select from. Now let's do another thing and I will create with the same prompt a mobile application. And also I will add a specific design system that I added to UX Pilot. I will go one moment to a free space on the interface. We are here, let's go to the top. I leave it as a high fidelity design. Let's select here the Neo Brutalist design system. And if you want to understand how to import your specific design system to UX Pilot, I have a video about that. I will leave a link in the description below. So let's change the screen type to mobile app. I will keep the same prompt. Let's go down. Let's start without the max and generate. And now I click on the max and generate again. And now let's compare the result. And by the way, if you like UX Pilot and want to use it, I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's back. Okay, here we have the result side by side. First of all, the mobile application that we created only with the deep design. And one thing that I forget to say before that if you select your own design system, 
you can only generate screens with deep design or with deep design and max design because when you select your own design system deep design it's enabled by default you cannot change it so we have here the screen we created with the deep design let's make zoom in we have here the task today's schedule if i go down we have the upcoming deadlines and below we have quick actions and also the button menu if I make zoom out, you can see how much longer is the design we created with the max design. It is more than double. Let's make zoom in. We have here the summary and you can see the difference between the summary we created with the max and only with the deep design. Take a look here. We have here the number of the task. We have the title that basically it's the same, but below you can see that the max design added also a progress bar. And that is very interesting because with that visual component, it's helped the user to understand much easier how much they complete in the process. If I go down, you can see the today's schedule that basically the big difference is that without the max design, it's created more or less the same component, but with max design, it's added also the images of the people. And to be honest, I prefer to communicate with images than text because people understand it much easier, especially if you work with people from your company, it's much faster to understand with who you will talk once you see the image. So in that case, you can see here the differences. Also, if I go down, you can see that it's added the quick actions. It's added also the urgent deadlines, recent activity, the task categories. We have a section about task for this week. We have section about the team status and below the productivity insights. So we can see that when created with Max Design, also the mobile application, it's created for us much more features. And that is interesting because once it's there, you can take it to Figma and modify it there much more easier. But at the first view, you have all the features on the screen. So that was the comparison between the two. I hope this video helped you to understand the differences between Max Design, Deep Design, and without using them. So to summary, what is the big difference? Max Mode adds more than just visual. It adds useful components to your design. It's a little bit like having another design working with you hand by hand. Personally, I think I will prefer to use the Max if I want something more elaborated with more information. But as you see in this video, you can select between these three options. And that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care.